Welcome and welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. Also, if you're new and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family. Y'all, come on in the kitchen again today, y'all. We are making a simple little recipe, some buffalo chicken egg rolls. So come on into the kitchen. Come on with me. Come on. Come on. Y'all ready? And we're going to make these right here. Okay, you, you guys, these are the ingredients that you will need for your... Um, buffalo chicken egg rolls so of course you need some red hot frank's red hot you need two ounces of this cream you need a cup of mozzarella cheese you need some parsley flakes some garlic powder and onion powder which i have in a smaller one here and then you also need some ranch seasoning oh you also need some actual ranch so let me get that and then i will come back once i am ready to uh throw these things together you guys will see me put them together okay you guys i forgot to tell you you need one egg so you're going to use this one egg for your egg wash and also some, I mean, you make an egg roll, so you're gonna need some wonton wrappers. Some egg roll wrappers, rather, not wonton. Wonton are smaller than this. So you guys, I just bought a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, which cost me $5, and it's cold. So all I'm gonna do is cut it up, and uh, y'all gonna see what I'm gonna do. And like I said, you also need some actual ranch. So I will be back, y'all, once I get everything situated. I'll tell you, like, you guys, like I said, you will need a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to just take the skin off of this. I don't need the skin. I'm not going to use the skin. Some people will use it, but I'm not going to. Guys, so I'm going to just dice it up. I didn't get a lot of chicken out of that rotisserie. I didn't use the wings. I just used the legs and thighs. But I'm just dice it up. But I'm not making a lot. Oh, so I'm going to add some parsley flakes. Parsley flakes. You can get them dry or you can... Uh, do them fresh. I'm not doing them fresh. We're going to put some ranch seasoning in there. Probably, I want to say about two tablespoons of it. You want to put too much seasoning because it's already salty. I mean not salty, but you know it already has salt in it from the uh, the chicken was seasoned. So some onion powder. About a, te a teaspoon. Some garlic powder. We'll say about a teaspoon some uh, Frank's Red Hot. Let's say about three tablespoons of that. Frank's Red Hot. Some ranch. Some regular ranch. And it does not have to be soft. Room temperature. You're only using two ounces of it. You should be able to smash it. If you're not, then and you feel comfortable with it being room temperature, by all means, let yours be room temperature. I tell you, it's your kitchen. You cook how you want to cook in it. I tell y'all that all the time. This is probably more than two ounces, but it's okay. Yeah, mine was frozen. I froze this, but it's not frozen anymore, but it's like kind of crumbly. Cause I guess because I froze it, I don't know, but I'm assuming that's the half of this bag. So that's like a half a cup. Of cheese because I don't have a lot of chicken in here so you guys this is about how your mix is gonna look about like this y'all see that can y'all see it yeah y'all can see it so this is how the consistency you want it to be about like that egg rolls you do not want to use a hot mixture because it will break the uh, egg roll wrappers so you just want to brush it brush all corners so I'm going to take about a tablespoon of this filling. Probably It's, it's probably going to be a little more than a tablespoon. Take the two ends and put them in the inside. So then you're going to smash that. Smash that, smash that. Take this one and roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And voila, you got yourself an egg roll. Okay, you guys, while we wait for my oil to heat up, I'm going to show you guys just a little simple sauce that I'm going to make with some ranch. regular old ranch and some Frank's Red Hot or some flakes just a little bit and we're gonna mix that up we're gonna mix it together 
So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add my egg rolls into my hot oil. I can't say, oh, get it at such and such temperature because y'all know I don't follow the rules. I don't know what temperature it should be. It should just be hot enough. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished product of the buffalo chicken. That's the chicken, the cheese, and that little sauce that I sprinkled on the top of them. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I, yes me, post a video. Love you guys, bye. Mwah.